Stuart Lee's special parable. Once there was a charitable and holy man. He lived in a fine house, but his door was always open to the poor, and he considered himself a good Christian. One day... What can this be? Dear friend, I have been observing your goodness for some time, and tonight, as a reward, I will come and visit you. Be ready for me, and you, in turn, will be welcome in my father's house on high. Yours sincerely, Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah! How blessed am I! The man laid out his finest linen, prepared a sumptuous feast, and made up a bed in the spare room. <laughs> at seven o'clock exactly, there came a knock at the door. Ah, oh, that'll be Jesus! <laughs> Help me! I'm an old, bent woman, old and bent, and I need a place to rest my old, bent body. Look, normally I'd welcome in even the oldest and bentest bent old woman. <laughs> so I'm expecting a very important guest. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, the holy lamb at last. Oh, hello, G. Sorry to trouble you. I'm a small, bald man. <laughs> my hairless head offers little protection against the freezing night. I'm sorry. Normally you'd be welcome into my house, and I'd offer you milk and a choice for my excellent selection of wigs. Ooh. But tonight I'm expecting a very special guest, and sheer practicality dictates that numbers must be limited. And he shut the door in the bald man's shivering face. Hello, I'm a menstruating woman. I'm shunned from my village due to religious laws. Could I? Hello, I am the elephant man. Surely this must be the enchanted saviour prince. Hello, I'm Annabelle Giles from Television's Riders. And hit the road. Shh. And these are some of my unfortunate friends. We're cold and hungry. Will you please let us in? I'm sorry, Annabelle, but tonight I'm expecting a visitor of splendour and I cannot allow you to enter. Aww. And with that, Annabelle Giles led her world-weary companions off into the wintry night. Yes. <laughs> what happened? I was worried about you, Jesus. I went to all this trouble for you and you never came. Ah, but I did come. Well, you didn't. I'm telling you, I was in all night. Ah, but I did. You did not recognise me when I called. Remember the old bent woman? That was me. Ah. What? And the bald man. That was me also. What, and even Annabelle Giles? No, that was actually Annabelle Giles. <laughs> Help him. Annabelle does a lot of work for the disenfranchised. Well, what was the point of all that? Do you not see? Well, no, I don't see, actually. Ah. I mean, all I can see is that, for some reason, you've deliberately wasted an evening of my time. Oh, <laughs> poor fool. Have you learned nothing? Well, yeah, I've learned something. I've learned that, you know, you think it's funny to dress up as sick, <laughs> ill people and mess other people about. <laughs> What do you mean, ah? ah. No, not ah. No. Oh, you're obviously trying to make me look like some kind of hypocrite. Ah. No, not ah. Shut up with your ah. But the fact is, right, I do, as you know, I do do a lot of work for the poor. Yeah, right? So why don't you just go and pick on someone who doesn't do any at all? Ah. Ah, not ah. Right? You know, I went to all this trouble here for you because you said you were coming round. Not in disguise. You. Ah. No. Ah. No. Not ah. Right. And all this food that I did, right, that's all wasted now. It's got, like, maggots in it and stuff. You know, and I could have given that to the poor or something. Ah. Not ah. Yes, not but do you see? No, do you see? <laughs> you, Jesus, eh? <laughs> Speak up, Jesus. I didn't hear you. Yes, I said yes. And so Jesus went on his way. Ashamed, but secretly pleased with his night's mischief and planning what holy trick he would be playing on some unsuspecting Christian who is trying hard to live a good life. Blessed be the Lord. Amen.